Hello Zoe, today is Saturday, July 9th, 2016, and as you and whoever else is watching this video may notice, my background is different. Now the reason my background is different is because I am not in my room. Why am I not in my room, you ask? Well, one simple reason, so I can be in the living room. Okay, you say, so why do you want to be in the living room? Like, what's the point? Well, I'll tell you the point. The point is that the church is a Pokestop, and if I'm in this room, in this corner of this room, I can most of the time just be close enough to use it. Now, Zoe, you know what my previous sentence just meant, but probably there are some people who don't. For those of you who do, I apologize. But keep watching, because this will become interesting for you as well. There is a new game, which, uh, Zoe, you helped get me on, called Pokemon Go. And this game is a game for your smartphone, and it's very interesting, because it, uh, instead of having you sit in one place and play the game, it has you move around. You have to walk to play the game. So what you do is you go around and you encounter Pokemon and you capture them, just like any other Pokemon game. But you actually go around. Like, you get up and you walk away with your phone to play. And it is so much fun. It keeps crashing, like, every other second. But it is so much fun. I can't even deal with this. A Pokestop is simply a place where you can get a bunch of items for free, so it's convenient to have one right by your house. So, the principle of having this game uh, make you walk around is great, because you're finally getting all of these people who sit around and stare at glowing screens all day to get up and walk around and get some exercise in. And in practice, it's mostly great, except for a few things. I mean, you yourself told me, Zoe, that someone was arrested for chasing a Pokemon into a park that had closed. But that's not the only interesting thing that has happened from this game. And this game has barely been in existence. No. One of the lowest reviews I could find on the app was a two-star rating that went on and on and on about how wonderful this game is and how awesome and how incredible and innovative. I'm like, okay, why did you give it two stars? At the end, they said why. Uh, this person and some of their friends were walking along the beach, and they were catching water Pokemon, and they were walking along the beach and walking, 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 you know, they got done. They decided to go back home, only they realized they were lost. They didn't know where they were, and they didn't know how they had gotten there, and they didn't know how to get back. Something far more terrifying, though, was an article that was on the Pokemon Go website, and it said that a girl who lived in a rural area was walking, uh, trying to find some Pokemon. Because she lived in a rural area, there weren't as many, so she had to actually go search for them a lot more than uh, you or I have to. And so she was walking around, she was walking around, she was walking around, she was staring at her phone, and she was staring at her path. And she didn't realize that the dead body was right next to her face down in the river, until she almost touched it. That is the effect that this game has had. Goodbye, Zoe. I will see you on Wednesday.